back to another episode of Catholic Table Talk Podcast, where everything Catholic is on the table. I'm your host, William Sobley, with another episode today, so thank you for joining us. And if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, I um, really appreciate it. Thank you for, of course, commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing Catholic Table Talk Podcast, wherever you're at. Today's episode is kind of an episode to tell, to really talk to, uh, through as a family, um, today. Today's episode is called from, it's from the National Catholic Register again, because I love doing, uh, the articles from them. It's called, Six Things You Have to Do to Stay Catholic While You're in College. Now, myself and my brother and I, uh, both, I should say, both my brother and I are going to college. So, this is helpful for us. But also, if you have a loved one who's in college or going to college for the first time. And also, I like to think of it uh, as um, not just college. I think about, you know, six, six things you have to do probably at work. Um, just kind of stay Catholic. Um, at your high school. If you're a high school student. Or... Or college, or just bring out in public in general. So, um, yeah, this is kind of like uh, defending your faith, like we did in past episode with Gary Machuda. So this is a good one to do. Uh, no. Okay, so six things you have to do to stay Catholic while you're at college, uh, just high school, middle school, work, or just bring out in public in general. It's know your faith. Uh, just. This is just not one of um, but it's know your faith, toughen up, and make good friends, and love Jesus Christ with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. As like Jesus said, and it also begins by Matt the Antonio. As students return to college or go to college for the first time this fall, I would like to make offer a few suggestions on how to stay Catholic in college. As it happens. I would suggest these simple principles to anyone else as hopeful practices for holding on to your faith. So not just college like he's saying, but more overall public. He says, number one, know your faith. I grew up, he says, going to, to a Catholic church, but hardly anything sank then. I was like a sinking duck for people to come and explain to me what was wrong with Catholicism. The problem was the picture they painted was a caricature, what what's no otherwise known as a straw man. And logic, had I known what the church really taught, I would have been able to answer any objection leveled against it. On this point, I would like to offer to report an observation I have made. I have heard many stories of people who are all very educated in philosophy or their own faith who convert to Catholicism when they learned about it. I have never ever heard an ex-Catholic um, who could acquirably explain the Catholic faith. Verbally, Fulton Sheen accurately said there are not uh, 100 people in the United States who hate the Catholic Church, but there are millions who hate what they wrong, wrongly perceive the Catholic Church to be. Therefore, I cannot recommend highly enough a uh, delight study of Scripture and the Catechism of the Catholic Church. The new cat is re- also very helpful, summarizing the ca- Catholicism. And it is written in more corporatory language. There is a beauty and genius in the church in the church's teaching. But it takes work to be able to see it. So that's number one, know your faith, because if you don't, um uh, you're not being a really good practicing Catholic first of all. Um you don't know what's really happening. And then if anyone asks you a question about it, you're kinda like uh, what Mr Machuda and I talked about, you're kinda like uh, which one is it? I don't know. So, I know your faith, fourth, first of all. Second, it's really short. This one is, don't fall for a bad atheist arguments against a God the church doesn't believe in. 
God is not what who the who they think he is, or even you think he is. There are many many cartoon vision, versions of God that are easily shot down. The God described and re rejected by the minute atheist is simply not the God of Catholicism. This point is closely related to the force. Simply put, we cannot wrap our minds around God. If we meet someone who says he understands God, you can be sure that he does not understand him. St. Augustine wrote, If you understand it, it is not God. Even most philosophy, uh, philosopher professors do not, uh, professors, professors, there we go, do not know about the high level ideal idea of God taught by the church. So if you think you know uh, God, uh, you don't, uh, all these, uh, yeah, just no one really fully knows God. Three, learn the arguments for God's existence. Philosopher Professor Eng Fisa came to believe in God through the philosophical arguments he was teaching his students. The fact is that we know God that God exists, right? Yep. That point is not a mere matter of faith. Learning the arguments also will help you gra get a grasp of the God Catholic theology describers describes. I recommend Fred and the Fanio's book, Does God Exist, which is also no useful uh, primal and ph ph philosophy. And uh, Queen's Fit and Teleza's Handbook of Christian Apologetics, a volume that the begins that belongs in every Christian home. So three, learn the arguments for God's existence. Because if um, you don't believe in God being existing, then, um, then yeah, you're not, not going to do good with that. Four. Find like-minded Catholics. There is a very good chance that there is a Catholic ministry on your campus. Get involved right away. The people you spend time with ha will have a dramatic impact on what you do and who you become. This is true anywhere, but especially in college. As you and your own, as you are on your own for the first time and spreading your wings for, of independence. There is no such thing as long range or Christian. Hanging out with other Catholics will also help with all of your suggest all of the other suggestions I am making. Another aspect of this suggestion is that the time you spend with the saints. Read books about about them and buy them. The joy particularly drips from the pages. You will learn a lot. You will be inspired. You can even talk to them as you read. They are the ultimate Catholic fellowship. And of course, don't forget to call your mother, Mary, the Queen of the Saints. Remember episode 11, Father Gabriel Wiles and I talked about um, why do we pray to Mary and the Saints. Um, so right there, don't forget don't forget Mary and the Saints. You can pray to them, you can talk to them. Um, so yeah, uh, otherwise I will recommend episode 11. So last two, five, don't be, don't let yourself be fooled or made to be feel bad by uh, Whitaker. In society today, Matt explains, it often happens that you will be made to feel like a villain or to feel like a villain if you don't bite into the dominating ideologies, ideologies, and agendas associated with liberal mortality. First of all, sound rational thoughts leads to the same conclusions as the church on moral issues. You don't have to be a Christian to agree with the church. You just have to know the philosophical basis of morality, a clearly known as natural law. Secondly, all of God's commandments come to us through and because of his love, will, tough as nails, self-sacrificing self love is the source of God's precepts. 
precepts. If they don't seem to make sense, it is because you don't understand real love, real human nature, or the heart of your loving father. And six, last of all, but most important, put your relationship with Jesus first. Nothing in life, absolutely nothing, is more important than a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. This must be fostered through prayer and the sacraments. Go regularly to Mass and Confession, get into a good schedule early, and don't give, it, don't give up on it. Even when you fail, and you will, throw yourself on the mercy of God. When you make a mistake, not if you make a mistake, but when you make a mistake, turn back to God again and again, because we all make mistakes. If you have, if you have to, if you have to, um, turn back to God again and again if you have to. He didn't give up on you, and he won't give up on you. In the end, in in the beginning, Catholicism is not about a set of beliefs or practices, but about a person. Jesus Christ, this encounter is a purpose of everything else you ever do. You ever do. So. Run through them a quick then. Force, know your faith, because if you don't know it, um, I mean, then why, why are you Catholic if you don't know your faith? And it's just really hard to explain it to other people if you, if they see that you're, like, um, one episode, Doug Muir, wearing a crucifix. I see you in, wearing a crucifix, and they ask you a question about it, you don't know it, I mean, you gotta know your faith. Two, don't fall for a bad atheist arguments against God that the church doesn't believe in. So, like Mr. Machuya, you gotta know your faith, so then, and then don't fall for a bad atheist uh, argument, because they will come. Um, doesn't matter, like I said, if you're in college, you're at work, you're just at a different um, private high school, middle school, um, out in the public, it won't matter. It, you can't fall for a bad atheist argument. Because we have, like Gary Matura said, we have an answer for everything. So if you don't know it, just say, I'll get back to you on that. Because, uh, yeah, um, no one knows God fully, understands God fully, I should say. Knowing the arguments for God's existence, because, um, same thing. We'll get back to that, I guess, in a little bit. Um, at number six, because that's why we believe in the Catholic Church, because if you don't believe God, Jesus Christ exists, then you're not a Catholic. Find like minded Catholics. Well, this might be easier said than done, but, um, yeah, try to find them. Uh, like my Catholics, try and join a group, um, hang out with friends who are Catholic, um, go at, you know, go to church, often, confessions, maybe, um, like Game of Trio also said, try and maybe get a Bible study or a study group going at college, high school, wherever you're at, um, at your own parish, do that. Maybe you could do... Um, Jeff Caving, some from Father Mike Schmidt's Bible in Year podcast together, you can do that, and then that could be your Bible study for the day. Um, and then five, don't let yourself be fooled or make to feel bad by work, uh, work. Um, so yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on about the Catholic Church today in the news, if, you know, you should know about it, because it's kind of hard to, uh, miss or ignore. So, yeah, don't let yourself feel bad or fooled, because... You gotta stand in what you believe in, and same thing, if you don't stand up for your faith, then, you, you, then you're not a Catholic. So you gotta stand up um, for it, uh, whatever it might be. So, so you, if you think you stand up for what you believe in, and you're a Catholic, then you have to stand up for the Catholic faith. I mean, you have to stand up for that. So, don't, don't let yourself be fooled or feel bad. By 
um, work or what you hear in the news or what a friend might tell you if that friend's not Catholic or, you know, whatever it might be. Or something. So, so you know, the path is not always easy, but don't let yourself be fooled by it. Just trust in God. And, yeah. So, so that's number five. Number six, last of all, but most importantly, now he puts it, put your relationship with Jesus first. Like, so nothing else really matters. Um, sports, drama, movies. I mean, like I said, or if you're sitting around in college for, say, two hours before you go to class or, you know, if you don't, if you live in the city and you're, you know, in high school, if you you work and you, come, uh, you don't really have to do anything at home and there's adoration, go to adoration um, if the church is nearby, even for 20 minutes, it's better than nothing. So, and like I said, don't give up on God because he's not going to give up on you. So, because Catholicism is not, it's not about a set of beliefs or practices, but about one person that is Jesus Christ, because he found the church. So, he said, so hopefully this helps, um, yeah, God willing, we'll see you next time, but hey, I'll have the link up so you can follow along, but like I said, it's not just about college, it's about, you know, it's public, high school, middle school, um, um, work, you know, it's just kind of being on the public. It, I, I did this because I'm like, hey, we're going to college, so, you know, I kind of like it, um, but it's about just being out in public and expressing your faith because you kind of, like I say, we're all kind of Catholic projects. Um, you don't have to be a very high up on a Catholic project unless you're cowed to it or like doing it. But everyone has to defend the faith at some point. So, you gotta be, you have to stay ready, so you have to get ready. And that's what we always, that's what Virgin Most Powerful says on the um, Game of Truths uh, Network. And that's what a lot of other people say about it. So, hope this helps. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching again. Catholic Table Talk, where everything Catholic was always on the table.